guys, this is Clyde here, and I wanted to show you what I'm up to today. Uh, right here is uh, my new pixel spinner, and this is not just any one. This is a GECE -E or a GE Color FX uh, pixel spinner. There are eight legs here, and you'll see, you'll notice one is missing. And that's because I have been on the bench today testing and soldering and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But um, today I actually did a couple uh, mock-ups and wiring and stuff. And what I did was I come over here and here is my E682. And I know it looks like a jumbled mess. This controller last year ran my 5-volt... Um, my 5 volt uh, flex text and that ran off of the 5 volt power supply here this one was a uh, 12 volt power supply that I used to supply 12 volt to the left side of the board the uh, flex text strips are 4 core wire and our GECE's are 3 core well I had to cross one of the wires over and you can see this output here cluster number 3 output number 1 and uh, then you can see there's my IP address. So, real quick, there is the basics of, of, of the wiring, and just know that I've wired this correctly. Uh, over here, my GECE pixels. This is going to be a little bit hard to see, but uh, on the pixels, you'll see that there are three wires. The one on the right here is actually a ribbed wire. Let's see if I can get a clear picture not working not happening um, just know that this this wire here that's facing the camera here it's a little bit more it, it has rib edges to it there we go and then on this side this is nice and smooth this side here the rib side is always the neutral side and the smooth side is your positive or 5 volt side now the center wire that's your data wire so in my setup I use I have a brown which is on the 682 here the brown here is my ground brown is ground blue is positive or uh, the 5 volt and the yellow with green is uh, is my uh, data that being said I did something really really crazy and I reused a 3 core extension cord and I cut the ends off and what I did was I, I wired in a pigtail one of uh, Ray's three core pigtails and I actually uh, I made it look nice and neat with some heat shrink and what I wanted to do is since since this wiring here is actually like a, a 16 gauge wiring I wanted to make sure that I could extend these pixels out pretty doggone far and I, because everybody says, well, you're going to voltage drop and you want to make sure you have high gauge wire. Well, I've already spent like hundreds of dollars on all of these extension cords for my old LOR setup. And now I'm not using them. They're in a box or they're in the basement collecting dust. And I thought, damn it, I'm going to use them. So this is what I did. I, uh, I just cut the, the male and female ends off and I soldered um, the like ends together. And I made my own extension cord using... Uh, using this thicker gauged wire. Now I could have used my normal, and I'll come over here and show you. I have normal, and I was actually going to start with normal wire. I was going to use this as a three core wire, and there's actually four core in there. And it's 18 gauge. There's nothing wrong with it. But I thought, no, I'm going to use my extension cords that are just sitting around collecting dust. So that's what I did. Now, let's go over to the computer screen here, and I hope that you can read this pretty well. What I did was I went on my E682. Now this was set up mostly for last year. I know if you look here, you can see my universe is, I'm, I'm, right now I'm testing in multicast. Last year I used unicast for everything. But I'm testing in multicast. I changed w one universe on here to one. This was universe seven. I ran, like I said, I ran this for something different last year. And I went down here to the output type. Now I'm working off of output 3 because output 3 and 4 is set up as a 5 volt rail. Output 1 and 2, those are set up as a 12 volt. Well, without having to move the jumpers and figuring it all out, I just selected to, to uh, I, I went over here and I made sure that I ran off the 5 volt side. Now, 
The next thing I did was I went in here and I changed on my output number, my cluster number three, output one through four are now switched over to the GECE -E color effects. And from what I understand, we should be setting our, um, our color order to BGR. And so that's what I did. I set it and I set my universe start as one and the length of the pixels is 36. That was, uh, that was for the flex text, but I'm only hooking up eight pixels for the test. So coming over here, all of this stuff just automatically fills in. I'm not worried about any of it. And I just click the update button. Once that's done, oop, there we go. Once that's done, that has re-updated the, the, um, the universes on the entire controller and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to open up uh, my X lights nutcracker now I went in here and I created a model I went in here and I went to new model and once I opened the new model I called it GECE -E leg it's a single line and it is RGB nodes now Note that I can go in here and change this to BGR, and X lights will output as BGR to convert it for um, for without having to to convert it through the 682. I'm just leaving it as RGB. Um, my actual number of strings is one. My RGB nodes per string is eight, which is eight pixels. And over here, you can see the start channel is one through twenty-four. So that's telling the computer, that's telling, that's telling the 682 that that channel number one through twenty-four. And I'll go, I'll uh, after I saved it and I made it part of my display, I click OK, and I click OK here. Now, whenever I go to setup, I only have one, here's the setup tab, and here's one universe, multicast, and I called that uh, universe number one, and it starts, it's channel one through 512, so this universe is set up to output. And then I went up here, I checked the output to lights, and I, made, I, I have the lights turned off right now, and then I went to Nutcracker, and I went over here, and I opened a sequence, and I already started this, so I, I added my model, I, I, I selected display elements and I selected GECE and I went into Audacity and I'll show you that real quick too. I went into Audacity here and if you hit the control M button so here's here's your control button and here's your M button Every, whenever the song's playing you can hit control M and it's kind of like a tap wizard that you have in Lightarama S3 software but it's in Audacity, it creates this wonderful little visual, and not only that, but you can go, come up here to File, and then you can export the label, and then I saved it as Label Track Ice, and I saved it in my X Lights folder. You can see where it says Nutcracker. That's where I saved it in my Nutcracker folder, where I have all my files for that in this computer. Now I'll go back here, back to X Lights. And I opened it whenever I created this sequence. It came up with all the timing marks. Now, they're not perfect. I had to adjust some. But this was a really quick test. And I want you to understand that this wasn't something I, I you know, I took the time to make a perfect video. Obviously, the camera's shaky. I'm excited, blah, blah, blah. So, without any further ado, I am going to pause the video. And in a second, we're going to get it going and show you how the test worked. Okay, we're back, and I turned out the lights so that we could get a little better color. And I'm going to click play on here. I have output lights and checked, and I'm going to push play. And that, I think that's about all I did. Yep, 29 seconds worth. So, as you can see, I've got my GECs working off of, I believe this is a 40-foot extension cord. So, or, or it's at least 25. So, it, 
I am getting 25 feet so far of extension cords from my controller out to my GECE pixels. So I hope that's a helpful little video. I hope it shows a little bit about the setup of X-Lite's Nutcracker. I hope, you know, I mean, this is a mess in here because I have to put it back together. But um, I hope that you've, you've learned or picked up something or you saw something that was helpful for you. And if you have any uh, comments, please feel free to leave them for me. Let me know if there's any other videos that you guys need or are looking for, or, you know, have questions on. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of videos between now and Christmas as I set stuff up, build stuff, and so forth. So, anyway, that's it, guys. Take care. Have a great one. And I can't believe I got my GECs working. They're great, aren't they?